Hi sir, good morning, good morning. And good morning to you guys from a beautiful, green, quiet Pokhara in Nepal where I'm out doing a wee bit of exploring. I'm gonna do a bit of sightseeing today. And the first place that I plan on going to is the World Peace Pagoda. It's one that I've seen before when I flew over it in the ultralight, microlight, whatever it was called, the little glider aeroplane thing. And yeah, that's one of the sights to see here in Pokhara. There's a few sights I haven't seen yet. Anyway, this pagoda is on the other side of this huge hill and Google Maps is saying I have to actually go all the way around it to get there. So I'm kind of looking to see if there's any kind of path that would actually take me over this big hill. I see there's homes dotted around the hill, so there must be a road somewhere. So it's the choice between what Google Maps says is an hour and a half's walking or getting off the beaten path and chancing it that maybe there's a half an hour route over the hill that's not like documented anywhere. I don't know. I'm having a wee look out anyway to see if there's any kind of path or way through there. Good morning, namaste, namaste. I'm going to Pagoda, Buddhist Pagoda. I go around. Long way, long way. Okay, thank you, thank you. And it really is a long way. It's all the way around there and to the back of there. In fact, that's it there. I can see it. That's the pagoda right there. So I think there must be some sort of direct route. Look at all the little houses dotted around here. There has to be a way up to there. Oh, I don't know. Should I trust Google Maps? It's usually trustworthy, the old Google Maps. But when you're in places like this, there's like local little routes that the locals might know about that Google Maps don't. But I mean, the way that lady was pointing when I said Pagoda was in this direction. Hello mate, how are you doing? You're licking your lips. You've been having a wee munch. You've been having your breakfast. I just had a beautiful breakfast at that Pavilions Hotel. One of the best hotel breakfasts I've had in a while. I don't normally include breakfasts in hotels in my vlogs because they're usually very average and boring, but I kind of wish I vlogged that one. It was uh, yeah, surprisingly good and included in the room rate as well. Aye, a good start to the day. It's a shame when you see this dotted all over the place. There's just litter everywhere. And this is just local people just eating sweets and crisps and things like that as you can see and just throwing it on the ground in this beautiful environment I mean why would you spoil such a beautiful natural green place by just dumping your corona mask and your look that looks like an ancient ball that's just been decaying like an ancient bottle of coke or something that's been decaying for about 20 years and nobody will ever pick it up, so that's the thing. If you throw something down, nobody will ever pick it up. Namaste! Namaste! Hey, he, the wee lad there, eating a packet of crisps. Hopefully his parents have taught him. You put it in the bin when you're finished with it. You don't just throw it down on the ground. It's not very nice. Okay, there's lots of these wee shops dotted around. I could do with a cold drink from one of them. They look like they may have some cold drinks. Namaste. Do you have cold drinks? Cold drinks. Like Coca-Cola or yeah, Fanta? Yeah, yeah. You have? Can I see? What do you have? Oh, okay. But uh, it's a big one. Oh, you only have the big one. What about this very small it's, one? It's not oh, okay. I'll take this one, please. Yeah, okay. Thank you. How much is this? 40. 40, okay. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Nice cold Coca-Cola. Absolutely dying here in this heat. Got the cap on now. Even the locals, as you see, are wearing umbrellas. Wearing umbrellas. They're holding umbrellas. Now, I'm in the kind of more of a towny bit rather than a villagey bit. So. I'm gonna navigate through these roads and find my way to this pagoda, which I can still see, it's over, it's over that building, so I'm going in kind of the right direction.
Okay, so there's this main highway here. Well, this is a highway on Google Maps, but Google Maps tells me that's the way I want to go up that wee road there, and that's going to loop round and take me up to the pagoda. Ah, there's something here that says, Welcome. Chori Patan to Shanti Stupa. Now I don't know if it's called Shanti Stupa, the one that I want to go. This end there's a foot trail for 50 minutes. I need to look up if it's called Shanti Stupa locally or not. I just know it as the World Peace Pagoda. So I don't know if this is the same place or not, but uh, a foot trail sounds nice to me. Right, I looked it up and it is, it's the same place, the Shanti Stupa is the World Peace Pagoda. So, Google Maps, it was taking me up this way and that would be a sure bet to get there, but I guess this is also a beaten path as well. Hi brother, I'm going to the Shanti Hi, Stupa. Boy. Yes. Yeah, this is the way to Oh, it's this way, I was about to go up that way. Thankfully, uh, this, this thankfully I talked to you. <laughs> I was about to go this way. I think this is your house that I was about to go to. Yep, uh, yeah. Are you making vlog? Yes, I'm making vlog, yes. You're still vlog name. Dale Phillip. Subscribe, what? subscribe, and Philip. thumbs up. Philip. Yeah, Dale Philip. What? That's your doggy. Yep. Yeah, now your doggy's in my vlog as well. Uh. You want to subscribe right now? Maybe. You're going to look first and then decide. Okay, I'll subscribe. You will subscribe, good. You have walked this way before, the full path? Uh, no. No, you've never done it? No. But you live here? Yeah. But you've never, you've never done the walking to the stupa? Uh, you're Hindu? Yes. Ah, you're Hindu. Ah, okay. So that's a Buddhist uh, stupa. After the stupa, I'll go to Lord Shiva statue. Uh, Is good? Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, see you. Okay, see you, brother. See you. I'm going to do the, the walk to the stupa now. Okay, see you. Up this way, right? Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay. See you. Just talk to local people, you get new subscribers just like that. That should be uh, good advice for any of you guys who are starting off doing these travel vlogs. What you want to do is just talk to people and they see that you've got a camera and they'll be like, oh, are you a vlogger? You say, yes. They say, what is your channel name? And you say, I will tell you if you promise to subscribe. Okay, get the, get the confirmation that they're going to subscribe before you give them the channel name. Make them feel obliged. To click that button. I don't know why I'm running. It's just my instinct when I see stairs. I like to hoof, just hoof my way up there. But I uh, know oh it's not a good idea on this temperature. It's about 36 degrees right now, about 11:30 a.m. At the hottest time of the day. Oh, conserve the energy, Dale. Ah. Oh. Well, this tree seems to be of some significance right here, but I can't read that, so I don't know anything about it. So that's where I've walked from, all the way down there, through that valley, bloody miles. <laughs> I feel like I've been, I think I've been out for like 40, 45 minutes or something already, so Google Maps says it was like an hour and a half uh, walk. Did I go that way? I don't think so. I think this has actually been built as a proper trail, maybe by the local government to the to the stupa. So I'm going to keep continuing following this. But I should be. It said at that sign it's a 50 minute walk from here. So from here, maybe 45 minutes halfway there from my hotel, and still. You're seeing just everywhere, basically since I left that hotel, all those kilometers, miles, depending on what you're thinking. I tend to think in kilometers, but um, yeah, all the way there, all the way from there, you just see litter spread absolutely everywhere. So it's a shame because it's just a, it's just a culture thing, isn't it? People just, their culture isn't really to just keep everything pristine and look after their environment. It's just uh, that it's acceptable, socially acceptable to just throw 
litter on the ground, which is a shame. It just needs, uh, for that to change, it just needs education. Starting from school level, just drum it into the kids. It's completely unacceptable to be doing that. And then after a couple of generations, the place will be clean and tidy, not covered in junk like it is now. Right, ah, uh, okay. I'm just always gonna follow the one that looks like the most proper path. Ah, that coke was lovely. It was freezing cold when I got it and it's like warm just from being outside in this heat and in my hand by the time I finished it. Now, to throw the bottle away. Come on guys, it's gone in the bag, of course. That is what you do. You come to places with junk, you take your junk with you when you leave, like that, okay? Oh, more steps. This is good. This is a, uh, this is good that they've built this. I like it. Ah, looks like the steps come to an end. I oh, know they keep going. Namaste, namaste. I must stay. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Aye. This is where Google Maps says I had to go. Up this big hill and around. Luckily, I saw that sign for the foot trail. Oh, look how steep it is. Guys, look how steep it is. Oh, and look at the view already. We're nowhere near the top. But we're already getting a fantastic view of Pokhara down there. Oh, awesome. Oh. And there, I can see the Pagoda right there, the white thing. And I can also see the Shiva statue as well, right there that I'm gonna try and get to after. I think that's like another oh, a good 25 minutes walk after you've gotten to the stupa. It's another 25 minutes walk to the Shiva statue, but we'll see if I've got any energy left. Oh, man. Okay, I seem to have reached the end off the foot trail. There are these steps, now it's taking me back onto this road that Google Maps was trying to take me on. But wow, check out the view from here, guys. Wow. Incredible. That's where I started off from. And that's where I'm going. You can just see the peak of it, the golden peak sticking out right there. Wednesday. Uh, oh, you have cold drinks? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you have Fanta? Fanta, and Sprite. 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 Let's see. Cold drinks. Uh, only Coca Cola. Yes. And the big one is Sprite for three. Uh, okay, I'll just take the Coca Cola, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay. How much is this one? 100, 120, okay. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, nice and cold. Good. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, good. See you next time. More steps. Am I supposed to go there or not? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I am. The stupa's up there somewhere. The high, the shanty stupa. I go this way or this way? Okay, great. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay, I wasn't sure those steps, they kind of look similar to the steps that was on that foot trail, but maybe that's just steps to someone's garden. Oh, this is nice and refreshing. I'm craving for a Fanta right now, but Coca-Cola will do as well. And check out the view. Wow, that, that house is going to have a beautiful view. Can you imagine the view from the, the three levels? The living room, the bedroom, and the attic. 
I'm looking right down onto that valley. Fantastic. Mm. Namaste. Have you been to the stupa? Yeah. How far is it from here? I would say 30 minutes. 30 minutes walking? Yeah. Oh no, that's a long way. Yeah. Okay, no worries. Oh. Yeah, because actually when you reach, there's a tiny village there, but mm -hmm. when you reach, you have to climb some stairs, so... Ah, okay. Yeah. Say hi to YouTube. You okay to be my video? <laughs> yeah. Okay, sure. good. Okay, nice to see you. you. Okay, right. so half an hour's walking. Wow, I feel like I've been walking for like half an hour, 40 minutes since I started that foot trail, which said it was 50 minutes. So she says, first you get to a village and then then you have to go to the stupa from there. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is good. Way too stupa. Because otherwise I would have just kept continuing on this road. Way too stupa. Right. Huh. I hate this. And they give you two options. And you don't know which option to take. Like I've been saying all along, I just go with the one that looks like the most legit path and stick with that. So it looks like I've reached some mini peak right here. There's a view on the other side and down there, there's some little restaurant where you can sit with a beautiful view. But, oh, more options. Steps going to, that looks like it's going to nowhere. Ah. Continue this way. Almost there now. Almost touching distance to the pagoda. And there's a sign here. It says, welcome to Anudu Gurung village. So this is a little village and it looks like that house there has been turned into a homestay slash restaurant. They had a sign up, perhaps the rest are as well. And now that this is kind of a, a tourist attraction and a place for, you know, religious people, Buddhists to come and visit that, uh, you know, this little community are getting some uh, industry out of that. They're able to turn their homes into homestays and little restaurants and stuff and earn a better living than whatever they were doing before up here. There doesn't seem to be much farming or anything else going on really. So, oh wow, look, that's the Fiwa Lake right there. So. Let me have a look. Aye, that's the lakeside. That's the whole lakeside area down there. In fact, that's it there. That's uh, that's where I was staying before at the Glacier Hotel. You can just see through the gaps. So I'm actually closer to there than I am to the remote pavilion's farm, which I don't think we can even see from here on the other side. Aye, I'm all the way down that valley. <laughs> that's where I need to get back to and look, it's all dark clouds. It's gonna, every day there's a storm, so at some point, at some point I'm gonna get caught in a storm and then I'm kind of screwed because I've got nothing waterproof or whatever. But luckily the GoPro is waterproof, so, you know, the footage won't get ruined or anything. Hello, namaste. So it looks like these are little uh, restaurants, or little homestays. Oh, you have, you have drinks, cold drinks. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, can I look? Let's see. Cold drink. Uh, oh, fruit juice. This uh, mango. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, kidna rupees, how much? Let's show me. This is 40, 40 rupees. Okay, there is, what is this? There's 50, okay, take 50, okay, no need change, thank you. Then you've had, okay, good. A little mango drink. Okay, almost there, up this way, yeah, this way. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Ah, fantastic. Oh. This is nice, what they've done here. There's a wee tea corner they're calling it. That's not so nice there. That 
got I've got words for them, but if I say them I'll need to censor them out. Uh, aye. It's lovely what they've done with this, isn't it? You can sit and drink tea and face that way onto the lake rather than facing this ugly thing right there. Right. Okay, so I think this is the entrance here. There's no sign in English, all this is World Peace Pagoda right there. And then we've also got Sanskrit and looks like Chinese, I think, as well. I don't know what this is. I think it's a donations box. Oh, no video. No way. No TikTok, no video. We'll see. Maybe they'll think it's an ordinary camera. Okay, so there's a massive sign saying silence, so I'm not going to speak while I have a look at this because, uh, yeah, it's also going to give it away that I'm taking a video, so hopefully they'll just think I'm using my camera to take photos. So I spent a good five minutes up there, all nice and peaceful. Would have been more peaceful if people had shut up. It's supposed to be complete peacefulness and silence up there, but the security guard kept having to shh, shh to people who kept blabbering. Basically every group of people that was up there were talking to each other quietly, but still annoyingly when it's supposed to be complete silence. So that's the way it is. Anyway guys, I'm looking for an alternative route back down. I've seen the Shiva statues on the other side of that, but there's no path from there. It's like a dead end and I don't see any other way down. Maybe I'll ask one of these store owners if there is a way. Surely there is a way. Surely I don't have to go <laughs> like three hours that way. That's the Shiva statue right there. We're not far away. Surely there is a path. Ah, good shot. Thank you. You know how to get to the Shiva statue? Shiva? Yeah, yeah. I have to go all the way around or there's a way? There's a... I'll tell you. You will tell me? Ah, good. You've been before? Yeah, I just ah, went okay. and I, again. I came from there. Oh, you came from there? Ah, okay. So you can tell me the way to go. Okay. Where did you park your bike? No, I, I walked all the way from, you see, in that valley there. For like oh. two hours, I walked. <laughs> oh, it's too far from here. Oh, like too far for walking? Yeah, you have to again climb the, you know, this hill. Oh, I have to climb again another big hill. So I have yes. to go like down here. So just you came from there, no? No, oh. I came from, I walked oh, all yes. the way from there and around like that road there, I came up from there. Till there you came from, the, you came up from the stairs, no? Yeah, these stairs, yeah, ah. these stairs, yeah. From the stairs you can take the right. Take the right, ah, okay. From the straight road you can go to the... It's another big hill to get back up. Ah. I have to go down and then up. Yeah, there's no way right ah. across, yeah. There's ah, only one road, okay. that, that will take you to the... Ah, Shiva statue. Shiva statue. Okay, I, I hope you there. have mobile, no? Yeah? You have mobile, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, you can search it in the... Ah, okay, oh yeah, Google Maps. Okay, so I thought the Shiva statue, it was going to be like... 15 minutes maximum walking from here, but it's a whole route. One hour, Google Maps is saying to get there. 
and apparently there's a way down here. That's what it's saying. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Hello. Namaste. Is the Shiva statue this way? Shiva. No, I want to, yeah, by walking, yes. Long way, right? Um, yeah, but it's this way, yeah? This way and go to the, by taxi. Oh, this way, there's, I can, I can get a taxi from there, yeah. Okay, I think I will do that. Thank you so much, okay. thank you. Okay, so, this is a different way from where I came up. So, there might be an actual road with some taxis that can take me there. I think I've done enough trekking for one day. Oh, I can finally say that I came to Nepal and done some trekking legitimately. That's what it feels like. I've done Namaste, Namaste. Namaste. Slowly, slowly. Slowly, yeah. I'm trying to talk to people and look at the camera, there's a good chance a somersault forward. And that would not be good. Yes, please use dustbins. That's good advice. Namaste. A beautiful hat and dress. Thanks. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so there's a whole community here selling knickknacks and stuff. So this seems to be the more legit way to get up. I came away where there was none of this stuff. There were just a few little tea houses and stuff like that. They're selling all sorts of knickknacks for the tourists here, aren't they? Yeah. Ah, coconut would be nice. Uh, how much are the coconuts? Okay, one coconut, please. Thank you. Be nice and refreshing. This coconut from Nepal or India? India. Ah, from Kerala. Kerala. Oh, yeah. Tamil Nadu, Kerala. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Thank you don't grow coconuts here in Nepal. So whenever you see them, they're usually at tourist places. You don't really see them in local areas. They kind of import them from India for the tourists. Oh, I get to choose my color. Okay, okay. I'm going to choose blue, my favorite color. Let's get a blue one. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. And it's good she hands it to you with the packet in her hand rather than some of the vendors, they just pull out the straw with their hands and then, you know, it's not, it's not clean anymore. But this is good. Mm. Ah, lovely. Nature's electrolyte beverage. The best one. Better than anything you'll get out of a can. Ah, finished already. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Okay. Do you have change? I only have one thousand. Oh, let's see what I've got. Maybe I have enough change. Let's see. Oh, I do have two 100s. Let's see. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah, down here there's a bunch of taxis. It's like a big group of people coming. They seem to be having a party on this bus. The party bus right there. Namaste. Okay. How are you supposed to get down from here? Apart from jumping. Okay, let's see how much the taxis want to the Shiva statue. Is there a taxi? Hi brother. How much to the Shiva statue? Shiva temple. Yeah, how much? Only drop. Yeah, only drop. How much? 1,000. Oh! <laughs> oh road. It's off-road, huh? Yeah, off-road. Oh, maybe yeah. I need a jeep or something. No, you can do? Oh, 1,000 cannot, too no, much. No, far away, get just the rough road. No, yeah. no, nice road. 
road. You can do 600 for me, brother. 600. No. Best price, what? Lo local price, you want to Local price. No, local, local price. price. Uh, uh, I think I will walk. I will walk. It's okay. okay. If you give me a better price, I will go with you. 900 last price. 800, we can go. Uh, eight. Eight, brother. Eight. Okay? Lovely. Good deal. Okay, okay. brother. Okay. okay, let's go. Shiva statue. And you, uh, Hindu or? Uh, Hindu. Yeah, okay, okay. So this yeah, is yeah. for your religion, yeah, Shiva. Oh, this one? Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I've done a full loop. Ah, uh, this is uh, Ganesha. Uh, Ganesh. Ganesha, yeah. uh, Ganesh. Yeah. He's uh, a yeah. son, son of Shiva. Uh, yeah, Shiva. Yeah. yeah. So it's all off road. All uh, uh, so, uh, worse than this. Yeah. Stones, stone road. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you're from Pokhara. Yeah. Pokhara man. Ah, okay, good. Oh, some people are going on bike. Dangerous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think dangerous. Yeah. Maybe in the future they will uh, make a new road. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you think? Maybe five years, ten years. Yeah. Because I see some, they are making some new roads. Some, yeah. some they are making new roads. Yeah, just so maybe uh, this will be developed eventually. Yes, uh, yeah, gonna look in. Just, okay. Uh, Super temple. Yeah. yeah. Just come back uh, walking. Yeah, come back walking. Yeah, oh, then I will go okay. down to the Fiba Lake, walking oh, to the Fiba oh, Lake. Uh, From Shiva Temple, I can go to the lake or I must come back here and then down to the lake. How to get to the lake through the... Yes. Walking down to the lake. Oh, long walking. Long walking, yeah, <laughs> okay. I want to take a boat to Temple in Fiba Lake. Yeah, you know? Water. Yeah, Water. boat, yeah, yeah, to Temple in Fiba Lake. There's a Steva Lake. Oh, Steva Lake down there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is there a way down from <laughs> here to walking down? <laughs> yes, just, I, yeah. I, can, I can walk from Shiva statue to the lake. Yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, there's, yeah. A, there's a way down, yeah? yeah. yeah. Okay, that's what I will do. Oh, oh. oh. No <laughs> Yeah, they need to <laughs> make a new road, right? Yeah. 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 Local government, they need to make a new yeah, road. No, no good. Everyone's wrecking their taxis. Yeah. They're, they're breaking their cars, trying to get people up and down. Rough road, huh? Yeah, very rough. Very rough. Every day you're up and down, up and down the road. Oh, you yeah. every day, every up and down, up and down. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this parking here. Yeah. And then I, I'm walking. Yeah. I'm walking up this way, yeah? yeah. Okay, good. Okay, you can keep the 1000 because rough road. Okay. Okay, okay my friend. Okay. okay, I will go see Lord yeah. Shiva now. Yeah, Shiva. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye. See you. <sighs> Cheers. Bye. So I decided just to give him the thousand that he asked for because, yeah, I feel bad for the guy. He's wrecking his taxi going up and down this road. This terrible road. Hopefully the local government do something about it. Just turn it into something like this. Because, uh, yeah, there was a long line. A long line of um, people. Taxis coming up and down visiting this. So it's popular enough to warrant making a good road. So I think it's up this way. Shiva! This way, okay, good.
समस्या भएका ले हजुरहरूलाई सहयोग माग्न बाध्य भएको छु मेरो अवस्था बुझी जति सक्नु हुन्छ मन खोलेर दिल खोलेर just like the stupa looks like it's free to get in there's the nandri the bull right there oh sorry I'm just ruining i'm just ruining people's photos as per usual but there's lord shiva right there and all his glory holding the trident trishula that represents what shiva represents creator preserver and destroyer there Wow, absolutely incredible, it's huge, absolutely huge. And looks like it's blocked off the steps, you can't get any further to look at it. There, the real lad was trying though, he was trying, he's like me. He likes to go to places, he's not supposed to jump over barriers and stuff. That's a future deal, a future deal in the making right there. So there's somebody saying some stuff over a speaker. Maybe uh, some worshiping is going on right here. I don't know if it's an actual temple or just a statue. Uh, yeah, let's check out the view from here then. Let's jump up. Oh, wow. Nice and refreshing. It's nice and cloudy now. And that's uh, that's where we came from. It seems like it was quite a journey. And it looks like there's a wee path right here. I'm wondering if I can make my way down to the lake from here. The driver of the taxi, who didn't speak much English, suggested that I could when I asked him. And that's what I want to do. My next destination was gonna be the little temple that's right in a little island in the middle of Fiwa Lake. So, I'll see if I can make my way down there. I don't know what this is right here. It's connected to it. Looks like there's a snake coming out of it towards the back of Shiva. I have no idea. Looks like a big drum. So inside looks empty, there's nothing in there at all. And people are just taking their shoes off there and they're just kind of sitting and praying and taking photos and stuff in the shade. But other than that, not much else going on. Right, I think I want to try and make my way down to that lake now, from here. It's gonna be a wee bit of a gamble though, I reckon. Where's the path? There was a path. Oh, maybe this is it, yeah. <laughs> okay, I think this is the path that I need to take. Oh, the Nandi, the bull. That is Shiva in his animal form and also his transportation. Brother, can I go to Fiwa Lake this way? Walking Fiwa Lake. Fiwa Lake. Fiwa. Fiwa Lake. Yeah, walking, walking. Path? Ah, oh, this is the path. Oh, okay, good. Thank you, my brother, thank you. Ah, oh, good, very nice. Yes, very nice. This way, I can walk in. Okay, thank you, my brother, thank you. Okay, I think he said this is the way to the pagoda that I've just been. Hmm. It goes somewhere anyway, it goes somewhere. So it's, it's my only option. If this doesn't go to Fiwa Lake, then nowhere does, so. I will try. Look at this trash right here. I think maybe the local people have collected the trash and tried to burn it, but have been semi successful and just left a bigger mess right there. Or maybe it's some people camping out, hanging out did a wee bonfire and that's all their leftovers, their bottles of beer and stuff. Aye. Well, it's just, it's just a shame that in this beautiful country, just everywhere you go, literally everywhere I've been today, and this, look, if you look at it from here, everything looks pristine, green, beautiful, but at any particular point that you're walking, it's just full of rubbish everywhere. The whole place covered 
and garbage. Aye. A real shame. A real shame. This going to Fiwa Lake or to the Pagoda? Pagoda. Pagoda, ah, okay. I thought I was going to Fiwa Lake, no problem. I think there's a way down to Fiwa Lake though, right? There's a path somewhere to get down. I think this way. This way, yeah, first to the Pagoda and then down. I oh. think maybe, yeah. Okay, so I could have came from, I just came from the Pagoda. Yeah, yeah I came by taxi. So I could have walked this nice path. This is lovely, a nice place to walk. I could have done that, but oh, oh well, I didn't know this path existed and I got to the Shiva statue quicker and the taxi driver got some business, so it's not too bad. Where are you from, my brother? Pokhara, Pokhara. Ah, okay, today's your day off. It's uh, Friday today. Yeah. Yeah, so you, local people are coming up and visiting, relaxing. <laughs> Dale. Dale. Yeah. Hi. Scotland. Okay, hello. Hello. You all Nepali? Yes. From yes. Pokhara? Yes. Ah, today you're coming for your... This is your day off Friday. Yes. We live in India. Yeah. Oh, you live in India? Yes. Ah, so you actually came to... your yeah, Nepal. native place is Nepal. Ah, you're from Darjeeling or somewhere like that? So. No, no, Nepal, Pokhara. Ah, you're from Pokhara, but you yes. live in India? Yes. Ah. For learning. Studying. For learning. Ah, okay. So you're coming back for visiting. Oh, Family oh, and... Yes. Ah, okay. So now you're going to the um, stupa, the shanty stupa. Yes, yes, we are going yeah. there. I've been already. Yes. Now I'm going back. I'm trying to find my way to Fiwa Lake. I think there's a path down somewhere. You like Pokhara? Yeah, I like it. It's so green and beautiful. Oh. Much more than Kathmandu. Yes. Yeah, this Kathmandu is... The... better than Pokhara, no? No, Pokhara is a nice city, the beautiful city. Kathmandu, I think too much population. Oh, okay, you're letting me overtake. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Enjoy your day. Thank you so much. Okay, which way do I go? This way. Okay, thank you. I was following you. Now I have nobody to follow. <laughs> they, they let me overtake them. Now I have nobody to follow. Okay, I'll follow these ones that are further ahead. Then we won't get lost. Oh wow, check out that tree right there, beautiful, and you can see it's kind of special because they've kind of covered bricks around it, so it means it's a, a respected tree, probably an old one, it's been there for generations, aye, place for local people to sit under, sit in the shade and relax, I see a lot of them, a lot of the trees like that, I've seen one in the, the village, the village I explored near the Tiger Mountain, um, Tiger Mountain Lodge. There was a small little community there and they had, that was a local hangout spot, was the old beautiful tree in the village. So there we go, with that shortcut that is not on Google Maps. So if you come here and you want to go from that Buddha stupa, right there to the Shiva statue. Follow the road that's on Google Maps and then when you get to this little house here, then you want to follow that path. In fact, it tells you, but they don't call it the Shiva statue, they call it the Pumdi Kot View Tower. And it's sponsored by Shiva Baral. Huh, so Lord Shiva is the sponsor of this, uh, this path. It's only 10 minutes, so yeah, if you follow the road, all the way from that stupa, it's by Google Maps reckoning one hour. So a wee shortcut for anybody who's planning on coming here and doing that. You don't need to take a taxi. Walk to here and then up there. You want to see Lord Shiva and Nandi, the bull. Right. Hello, namaste. I want to go to Fiwa Lake. Is it a path? You can go Fiwa Lake. Yeah, is there like a walking down? You go to Stupa. Stupa, no, already, already. No, no, no. no, no from there you oh, go. first go to Stupa and then go down. Yeah, yeah, ah. Then go past Stupa, huh? Yeah. Then go down. Oh, past the Stupa and then down. 
10,000. Okay, thank you so much, Danivad, Danivad. Thank you, thank you. And the English level around here, even from some of the older gentlemen, is pretty good compared to some countries in the world. Like if you were in some the equivalent place, remote in Latin America, in Colombia, Mexico, Brazil, nobody's going to speak a word of English, even the younger people. But here, it's uh, you, you can ask somebody a question in English and... Hmm. Yeah, it's not up that way, down this way. You can ask somebody a question in English and there's a good chance, not always, but there's a good chance they're going to understand you and be able to uh, answer your question. So, I think that comes from the fact that countries like Nepal, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, they're former colonies, former British colonies. So, you know, generations would have been learning English and it's, you know, remained an important thing that in school, everyone from like age four or something is starting to learn English all the way until university where, you know, other countries it's just not an important thing. Uh, you know, the Spanish speaking countries, they tend not to care too much about learning English. But uh, yeah, it's just one of the benefits of traveling in this part of the world is you can get by. You can get by with your English ability. Aye. Himalayan viewpoint, camping and restaurant. Probably the best view in the world. Well, let's see about that. Is this the best view in the world? I don't know. It's certainly up there. Fantastic. A shame about the dark clouds right now. Your man's probably going to get stormed on anytime in the next five or ten minutes, I reckon. It's just black clouds everywhere. And it looks like this is a local school right here, a tiny wee one, basic level school. So it's Friday today, so it'll be closed. Friday is, they have a one day weekend, apparently in Nepal. It's just only Friday is the day off for people who work, for people who go to school. Otherwise they work a six day week. Hard working people are Nepalis. So I'm gonna have a wee look here if there's a campsite or whatever. They said it's a restaurant and campsite, but maybe it used to be, maybe that was it. Oh, well, there's nothing else around. Just this wee school, which looks absolutely tiny. Aye, so I guess you could come and set up a tent if you wanted to. There wouldn't be anybody stopping you. But uh, aye, this looks like a tiny wee school right here. So look, that's the office. And then one, two, three, four, five classrooms. It looks like, can we have a wee look inside? The door's wide open. Aye, so looks like they've been learning with uh, Tom and Jerry. Or is it a knockoff Tom and Jerry? It's some mice. And it does look like, uh, that cat did look like Tom. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? He disappeared. There was a cat. I'm sure there was a cat. I'm sure I saw a cat. There he is. Tom right there. But that's the wee classroom. And they're tiny, aren't they? Class three. Oh, I think it's probably the grades. Class one, two, three four and five so yeah probably the first five grades uh come here and then they go to high school in Pokhara city probably now i'm not very safe when there's little kids when there's tiny little kids this the fence just ends right there you would never get that in the uk but uh yeah nepali kids they're just from a young age, they're exposed to dangers like this and they just learn, they just learn not to fall off. I guess if you just like brought some British kids here, they would like lemmings, they would probably just walk off and, <laughs> and fall to a tragic end. But uh, yeah, it's like the, the amusement park that I was at in Kathmandu, you could just stick your hand out. You could just stick your hand out and get your arm chopped off. Like that, it's just, Kids learn, kids learn what to do things. They learn the hard way or they learn some way. But uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm walking down here. There's still, there's still signs about this camping and restaurant. Maybe, uh, maybe there is something down here. We'll have a wee look. 
Oh, right enough. Heading away, there is uh, a couple of wee buildings right there, so I might get a wee snack or drink. Hmm. Ah, it looks like it's locked. It's closed. It's padlocked shut. But this is where I could have been eating some momos and a glass of Fanta looking out on a Fiwa Lake from the other side. I was always looking at it from this side. That's where I was staying, down at the lakeside there. And I was always kind of like walking around that way. That's Sarangot there, where I did the skydiving and that's the view tower. So I'm on the opposite side here off the lake with no refreshment, unfortunately. Yeah, completely closed. And this looks like, I was gonna say it looks like a wee barbecue. But I think that's just an ordinary fire. An ordinary fire there that they're using for heat. And your man right now could do with the opposite. He could do with something to cool him down. A nice ice cold Fanta would be absolutely fantastic right now, so it would. And maybe I'll get it. Maybe I'll get it over at that stupor. There was a lot of shops selling drinks and stuff and I'm gonna have to go that way to go past it, to go down to the Fiwa Lake where there should be some boats that will take me to that island right there in the middle. But I only see boats coming and going from the other side, that lakeside, the lakeside area, which is where I was before, where I was staying before. I don't see boats coming and going from this side, although there should be. Hmm. In fact, is it those boats down there? Maybe it is. Hmm. Only one way to find out, guys, one way to find out, and that's to go explore. That is to go explore. That's what we're doing today. A lot of exploration, guys. A lot of exploration. I can't help it. When I get steps, I just want to put the strong legs into action. Especially when there's no sun beating down on me. And just hoof it. Just hoof it all the way up these steps like this. Oh, it just feels good. The best form of exercise. Aye, that is how you get your legs nice and strong, guys. By hoofing it up some steps like this. Yes, yes, just like this, guys. Oh, yeah, that makes you feel good, doesn't it? Wow. Oh. Hi, brother, namaste. You have Fanta? Yeah. You have Fanta, a cold one? Yeah. Oh, good. I've been thinking about Fanta all day. Okay. Oh, there, that's Fanta, right? The orange one? This one? Yes, please. Yeah. How much is this one? Oh yeah, I want the big one. Yeah. Oh, nice and cold. Good. How much for this one? Hundred. Hundred. Okay. Do you have change, brother? I only have one thousand notes. I've been trying to get change all day. I only have thousands. Okay, good. So I was hoping when I bargained that taxi driver down to eight hundred, I would at least have two one hundred notes to buy drinks and stuff. But then, you know, I was a bit soft. They say to let him keep the thousand. Oh, nice cold Fanta. Lovely. Oh. One, okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, thank you one, very much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you very much, my brother. Done you bad. Okay, good. And I've got nine 100 notes. I've got plenty of change to buy my soft drinks. Fantastic. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes. I'm finding the path down to the lake. Uh, go here then. Yeah, past the stupa, right? We, we, go here. Here, here. Oh, I can go this way? Yes. Really? This will take me down to the lake? Yes. yes. Ah, some, some men told me I had to go past the stupa first. You, you can go there. Yeah, first of all, you can go to the stupa by this way. Yeah. Way, but in some place you will see the two. Ah, so okay, so there'll be a way down. And is there boats at the bottom there? Yeah, they yeah. They can take Actually, me because... We, we came from that way. Oh, my, boat. my intention is to go to the island, the small island in the Fiwa Lake. That's my intention. Ah. Yes, By you, boat. You, you can take a boat in, in the harbour. Uh, oh, so there's a harbour at the bottom of the path. Yes, yeah, that's perfect. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know if you can take a boat, but I, but I believe you can call and get a boat. Ah, uh, they're not immediately available. Yeah, I would have to call somebody. 
Okay, I'll go down and find out. Maybe I'll have a wasted journey, maybe not. It's a gamble. <laughs> okay. No, no, for sure you will get the pass. Yeah. Go maybe five minutes walk. Yeah. So almost uh, when you see the Buddha, uh, this uh, stupa. Yeah, when I'm almost there, see, then I go down a path the, down. The path. Actually, there are, I believe, some signs that uh, some lake side. Yeah. Like, okay, good. I will do that. So I'll go do that and you will go see the Shiva statue. Okay. 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 Cheers, guys. Bye. See you. Okay. So, I'm not going this way, I'm going this way. Apparently both routes go to the she the Buddha stupa, but this way there will be the path that goes down to the lake. Oh, storm is a brewing. Okay. Hi brother. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Hi. I I want to go down to the lake. To the boat? Yeah, the boats. Follow the way straight, you will see the down one like this. Straight. Oh, this path here? Yeah, path here, follow the straight way. Ah, Take okay. First lift. Take the first left. There is also stairs. Stairs, oh, all the way down, that's, yeah. that's useful. Thank you, my brother. See you again. Thank you so much. Okay, fantastic. So, I'll follow this little path, get to about where the stupa is, and then go straight down. We have something called a happy swing. It looks like not really a swing for playing on, it's more for you get the view of the stupa and then the mountains and the city and stuff. The perfect view from there to take your Instagram shot. Yeah. And again, a couple of trees there that are walled off, meaning that they're probably prestigious trees. They're respected but not respected enough for people not to throw their junk, throw their bottles of Sprite and plastic cups and everything. Little cakes that they've just left for the ants to eat the scraps off. Little crisp packets. Aye. Even, is that instant noodles? Yeah, even instant noodles packets are lying around here. Look at this. Absolutely dreadful. And so sad to see. <sighs> huh. So, way to Stupa. And this is the village where the Stupa's at. Oh, there we go. Boat service available. And the... Uh, arrow going down there so this must be the path guys this must be the path to the lake and the boats huh is this a dead end surely it can't be a dead end oh my word so all that path just leads to hang on Oh look, there's a bin there where people actually have been collecting litter and putting it in there. That's nice. But yeah, there's a path that looks like it's going to lead down to there or there. Somewhere at the lake's edge, there's going to be some boats. Uh, it's starting to get a wee bit windy, guys. And when it gets windy, soon it becomes stormy. It's about to get a wee bit stormy Daniels up in here. And when I say, when I say Stormy Daniels, what I mean is the weather is not loyal. One minute, it could be your best friend. And the next, your worst enemy. Oh, good. Whew. Another one of the bricked off trees and this one fully covered in cement. I wonder if that stops it growing or anything. You would think it would, but I guess not. Like the roots are all just sprouting out of the concrete there. And something written, those of you who can read this can read it. And your man cannot. So maybe you can translate for me in the comments. 
and tell me the significance. Maybe it says how old these trees are or something like that. But getting very close to the shore side. Which way for the boats? Oh, this way, thank you. Okay, there's a sign there telling you the prices. So, I think, I think it's Barahi Gat. I think, I need to, oh, I think down here. I need to look at the name of that temple island on Google Maps and see which Gat I want to go to. Yes, it is Barahi, Barahi. So 650 rupees for the boat trip there. And then I need to take another trip from there to Lakeside where I'm probably gonna hang out, get some late lunch, dinner, and then get a taxi all the way back. Miles and miles back to my farmhouse hotel, the pavilions. Oh, way to the boat service down this way. Luckily, I'm paying attention to the signs. I was about to continue down the beaten path there, but it's down this wee stone path. And what is this right here? Looks like a wee temple, maybe for the village. Maybe this is where they come and do their offerings or something. Hi. Oh, there's a picture of a girl or a lady there. Maybe it's somebody's memorial or something, but unfortunately, it's just full of it's just full of junk. There's even like a crisp packet or something. There. That's unfortunate to see, isn't it? So, let's go down here. Oh, and there's a sign again for the boats, the prices and stuff. Life jacket compulsory ticket from typical restaurant. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste, namaste. I'm going for a boat. Oh, this way. Boat. No, 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 no. No, this way. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Yes, GoPro. Thank you, thank you. Ah, here we go. Typical restaurant. So that's where we get the tickets. And there seems to be a few white people hanging around. Is that a good sign or not? Hi, how are you? Dale yes, I'm Dale Phillip. You recognize me? Yeah. Oh, nobody recognizes me when I wear the cap. I'm watching you. You're watching me? Yeah. Brother, nobody recognizes me when I wear this cap. I think I'm incognito, but you still recognize me. Yeah. You living here or working here? Yeah, working here. This is my shop. Oh, this is your shop? Yeah, the, your restaurant. Yeah. Oh, I want to take the boat to Barahi. Yeah, okay. Ah, okay. So, there is wave, you know, wind. Oh, so the boats are not going right now? Take a risk. Oh, take a risk. Ah, no problem. I can swim. I think I can swim to there actually. Maybe I don't need the boat. Maybe I can save money and just swim all the way. <laughs> yeah, I've been to Shiva statue and the stupa as well. Yeah, now I want to go to this Barahi before the storm comes. Maybe 30 minutes. You think? It's coming, right? It's coming. Rain is coming. Yeah. Okay, good. So I get the ticket from any of these shops or only this typical restaurant? Only typical. Okay, I'll go get my ticket for, for the boat. Nice to see you, my friend. Nice to see you. I thought I was incognito, but apparently not. Okay, so I'll get my ticket from maybe one of these ladies. Hello. Where do I get the ticket for the boat? This office here. Okay. Hi, brother. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm fantastic. I want to go to the Barahi Island. To the Barahi Cat. Yeah, and after then I want to go to Lakeside. Do oh, I need yeah. two tickets or...? No, 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 in the one ticket it will be fine. One ticket, fine, yeah. and then another ticket at the island? No need. No need, just yeah. only one ticket? Yes, but uh, if you want to give something to the private, it's up to you. Oh, like that. Ah, okay, yeah. so I buy one ticket to Lakeside? Yeah, to the Lakeside. But I can get dropped at the Barahi? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Oh, and you have cold drinks. Is this turned on? Is it cold? Maybe. Okay, let's see. Let me, let me see. If it's, uh, which one? Coke? Is it cold? Uh, yeah, I'm can, addicted to Fanta today and the glass <laughs> bottle would be amazing. Oh, nice and cold. Fantastic. 
Good. You know, these drinks are so much better out of the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah so much better, yeah. right? Okay. So how much is the ticket to uh, Lakeside? In total, it cost uh, 720. 720, okay. Plus the Fanta? Yes, plus Fanta. Oh, in total? Yeah, in total. Oh, okay, fantastic. That's my ticket. So the boats, they're going like every half hour or? Ah, uh, no, if you want to go, wait a moment. Yeah, if you want to go right now. I can go. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. good. You bring one board also. If you want to bring in the board, you take it's okay. per board. Oh, he says that I can take the drink on the board as well. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. problem. Easy. Oh, okay. After finish, you keep on the board. Keep the bottle on the boat. Ah, okay. Good. Nice. Nice relaxed attitudes around here. It's good. Thank you, my brother. Thank You're you. Welcome. So, do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, Dale Phillip. You want to write down? Mm -hmm. I will write down for you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll just subscribe you right now. Oh, you have internet here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm getting a new subscriber as well. Yeah, you this got is a new great. Subscriber. <laughs> yeah, the, the, this is I think the second or third time today. Yeah, third time actually today that I got a new subscriber like this. It's the best way. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, you got one million subscriber. Mm. Uh, but I'm sorry, I'm not uh, into this vlogging this stuff, so that's. Oh, so I'm you don't into. subscribe? You only work. <laughs> oh, okay. I like the streaming more. That's. You like streaming? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like on Twitch. I uh, yes. You watch Twitch. A lot of people are oh. doing these vlogs on Twitch where they just walk around. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they just walk around and they're talking. The... Yeah, there's one guy you should check out called Globic. G L O B I K. He does on Twitch. G L O. Yeah. B I K. Yeah, Globic. Globic. He's like uh, the streamer type for this. Oh. Yeah, walk around, talk, look at things. Yeah, he's oh. good. You should check oh. him out. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Oh, where are these guys from? The white people? The Goras. <laughs> where are the Goras from? <laughs> Do you know? I tried to guess by looking. Maybe Russia. Maybe. No? Some Russians are still coming here, yeah, into Nepal. They're not stopping coming to Nepal. Still they're coming. Uh. Even Russian and even the Ukrainian, they are coming here. Mm. Is it possible to uh, catch some taxi maybe here? Taxi? Yeah. I think Russians actually by the accent. No need for me to take this on the boat, finishing it in a minute. I was thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> that was really refreshing. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Oh, good. Right. I think we can uh, we can go pretty soon. And I was thinking I'd have to buy two tickets: one to the island, and then another to the lakeside. But he's saying this one ticket's going to be enough to get me to both places. So that's awesome. Four people per boat. Ah, so they're already four people. So I will go another boat after them, alone, unless more people come. No, no, no. No? Alone, no problem. Alone, no problem. Ah, so but you don't yeah. wait until four, it's just uh, yeah, yeah. every so often. Yeah, okay. That's good. Let's wait uh, maybe 20 minutes. Eh? 20 minutes. Yeah. Ah, okay. We drop and come back. Drop. Oh, the same driver. You have the one driver. driver. Ah, yeah. so he will drop these yeah. four, yeah. Yeah, four and come back. Alone. You know ah, Simon okay, uh, Wilson? Yeah. Simon Wilson, my friend You're from friends? Wales. Yeah, we are friends. I'm watching both of your videos. Ah, good. Yeah, we have one video together. We did the zip line in the UAE together. Oh, yeah. We have one video on my channel and his yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can see He's that. He's also in Egypt, huh? pyramid. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you pyramid. wear this one. Yeah, this uh, <laughs> headscarf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's good. I'm Maybe. watching all videos. Ah. Yeah. I want to buy in Nepal, I want to buy the Dhaka Topi. Dhaka yeah, I will yeah. look and make a video about buying ah, the Dhaka Topi. Yeah. yeah. Looks like there's three of us, three of us going on this boat as it starts to rain. It's starting to rain, yeah? So we're getting wet, even if the boat doesn't. Okay, it wants me to go forward. Even if the, even if the boat doesn't capsize, I'm getting wet regardless. 
Oh, the girl is paddling as well. So we've got the girl at the front paddling and then the guy and this lady as well. I feel like I'm uh, I'm not doing, doing my job. First out for me, for me paddling. Where's my one? <laughs> okay. I think, uh, yeah. I don't know if the locals get like a discounted rate or something if they paddle, something like that. They're definitely not paying tourist prices to get across. You ever have accident? Yeah. Uh, yeah? You ever go over? Before? Yeah. You ever go over? No. No? Okay, good. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> good. Oh, this guy here transporting some slabs. Some concrete slabs going very slowly. Paddling all on his own. So here we are at Barahi. Very sacred Hindu temple on this island. Oh, we're not going there. Yeah. We're not going to Barahi. You want to go? Yeah, they said I first to go to Barahi and then Lakeside. <laughs> he don't tell you? Yeah, no. Oh, he said that I will go to Barahi and then okay, go over. Okay. Ah, so, okay, so luckily I stopped him. He was going to go straight to the Lakeside. So, um, me, yeah, yeah. I will go. You will take the ladies to yeah. Lakeside and then yeah. come back. Yeah, okay. Okay, after here, then I will go to Lakeside. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay good. Okay, Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna get out here. He's gonna take the ladies to Lakeside. Sorry. Wait, okay. Wait. Okay. Okay. Okay, we are parked. Fantastic. Okay, I won't be long, just a short time. Okay, no okay. Five, five minutes, ten, five minutes, minutes, ten okay. minutes. Thank yeah. you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, great. We are here. Oh. Okay, so it's one of these take your shoes off kind of places. So I'll take the shoes off. Socks okay or no? Socks are no problem. Okay, good. Let's have a look. Hate these things. Flying rats, so they are. Okay. Ah, so it's this. They're lining up. I think this is the main temple right here. They're all lining up to make a prayer or something. I won't do that because this is not my religion. I'll leave that to the Hindus. But I'll just watch to see what they're doing. So they're lighting some incense there. There's a bell that they ring. And there, looks like they're going in, making a very short prayer or something, and then come back out. Let's see if I can get a closer look in there. Yeah, they leave a donation and they get this, this is a TK, I think it's called, put on their head. There. Okay, very nice. And the rest of the area, not too much going on. Just really a place to hang out. What are these uh, bells? Is it like the Buddhist temples where they've got those twirly wheels and you twirl them and you get karma? Is it like that? Is it like you ring the bell and you get something, some goodness, something like that? I don't know. but. I think that little temple there is the only interesting thing around this complex. I don't really know what else is going on. There's a lot of stuff written here. I have no idea. And then I think that's it.
I think this is all for offerings. They're selling incense and stuff like that. But yeah, that is it. Apparently, I think it's a Saturday that there's a huge queue. That is the day that people come from the mainland to specifically to do a worship. And there's a huge queue, so I heard. But I'm gonna have to find my boat guy. Oh, is that him? He's already been, you already been on back? <laughs> okay, good. Oh, I'm forgetting my shoes. <laughs> Forgot my shoes. <laughs> okay. I'm almost going back bare feet. Okay. Okay, brother. Good. Thank you for waiting. Okay. Okay. I will try to help, okay? Yeah. I don't know how. I have to face this way if I want to help, okay? I will try. I don't know how much help it will be. Okay. So, he's doing it on that side, so I'll do it on this side. Oh, am I splashing you? <laughs> I splashed him. I just, all I heard was, oh! <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, my technique needs some work. I'll try to do it without splashing you. Oh. A lot of worshippers ready to make their way over there. Oh. Okay. Good. How was my paddling? Good? Yeah. Good? Oh, okay. I think he's been too kind. I'll give him a little tip because basically I paid 650 to there. It's supposed to be 750 to here. And I've done two stops, so the guy that I bought the ticket from says, no worries, just give a little bit extra to the driver. So I'll give him a little tip. Okay, thank you. It's a little tip for you, okay, brother. You, okay, good. Okay. See you next time. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get some refreshment and nourishment on this lakeside area. Just ruin someone else's photograph and another. I'm becoming an expert at ruining people's photos and videos. So that's where I've came from, over that direction where it's just as covered in a storm right there. But this area here is still dry. I've done well to avoid getting soaked today, so I have. Just got lucky. Maybe I'll get something here, in a corner of a garden with the windmill temple the Buddha sitting in a windmill there hmm. Ah, no problem, I'll sit outside Okay, <laughs> okay <laughs> It's just a little bit of rain and I'm already like sweaty and drizzled on and stuff anyway a little bit so it's all good Let's see if they come out and give me a menu or not Ah, she's got the best place there, a little sheltered bit. It's outside, but it's still sheltered. You want to sit here? Yeah, is it okay? But it's raining. It Only a be, little bit. It will be very hard for us to... Oh, for you? Ah, uh, okay. So you don't want to get wet. Okay, okay. I won't make you get wet. I will sit there, inside okay? There? In okay. this bit here. Okay, no okay, problem. You can come inside. Okay, yes, I will, I will sit there. I'm very sorry. It's no problem. Okay. Okay, so is the staff don't want to get wet. <laughs> they don't want to get drizzled on. I think this is actually going to get worse. I think this is a start. This is the start of a big storm. Okay, I will sit in here. Okay, yeah, I will sit here. Okay, thank you. Hi, this is the menu. Thank you so much. Water, thank you. Excuse me. Hi. Okay. What fresh juice do you have? We have only watermelon juice. Only watermelon, that sounds yes. good to me. I will have one watermelon juice. And what do you recommend? What is the best thing on your menu? 
The most tasty. Non veg or veg? Uh, maybe I'll take one veg, one non veg. In fact, I will take a vegetable pakoda. Okay. And then something non veg. What do you want? I'm we asking have, you. Asking you. We have momos. Yeah. Tomins and fried rice, mm -hmm. sausages, sandwiches and burgers. Sisters. If you were going to order, what would you choose? I would choose... You would choose maybe chow mein, right? No? no? no. I would choose biryani. You choose biryani? Ah, oh, okay. Mutton biryani. Okay. Okay, mutton biryani then. Thank that's you. All? Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Wow. What a beautiful smile she has. What a beautiful smile. Okay, so we're getting the veg option, the vegetable pakora, just like I had in the streets of Pakistan. I don't know if you saw that video, guys. I had some beautiful vegetable pakora. It's just vegetables dipped in batter and fried. Nice and crunchy, nice and tasty. And then you can't beat a mutton biryani, can you? So hoping this is gonna make me feel nice and satisfied as I look out onto the Fiwa Lake. Oh, you can disturb, sir? Yeah. We have not uh, mutton biryani today. Oh, no mutton biryani? Ah, chicken okay. Biryani. Chicken biryani then. Okay. okay, good. Oh, I'm so sad. Chicken biryani is the second best biryani. Number one is always mutton. Oh, well. Big fan of videos. Oh, thank you so much. Good? Okay. My Fantastic. <laughs> okay, it's nice to meet yeah. you. Thanks for coming to Nepal. Okay, yeah, it's my pleasure. Of course, my pleasure. What a beautiful country this is. Okay, beautiful watermelon juice from the beautiful waitress. <laughs> nice to see you guys. See you. Bye. That's nice. Lots of friendly people around here. Ah, oh, lovely. Lovely and refreshing after a day exploring all around this beautiful city and its uh, outer regions. I don't think you would call the places that have been the villages today a city or part of the city. I think that's their own little places, their own little villages. Excuse me. Okay, you want my YouTube? Okay, I've got another subscriber today. How many subscribers have I had like this? Just picking up subscribers. Mm. I would like to be sitting outside. It's not too rainy, it's just a drizzle. Us in Scotland, we don't even consider that to be rain. That is just a drizzle, its own category, a drizzle. It's only raining when, you know, you're getting soaked, not when you're just getting little bits of, little drips of water on you. And definitely a fresh watermelon juice, freshly blended, because there is a big old chunk, a big old chunk right there of watermelon. No, oh, somebody just smashed something. All I heard was a smashing noise and then a bad word. That's all I heard. I don't know what happened. I was concentrating on my watermelon juice. Okay guys, the veg pakoda is here, beautifully presented with this little dip in the middle. So here they call it pakoda. And in some places they call it pakora. It seems to be 50-50, whether it's pakoda or pakora, depending on what you, where you go. Even different states in India, they're calling it pakoda, pakora. In Pakistan, it seems to be pakora. And in Nepal, it seems to be pakoda. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful chicken biryani from the beautiful, beautiful waitress. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig in this. I'm gonna dig into this with the hands and I don't have to go to the hand wash because, thankfully, from my trip to Antalya, which I didn't vlog, so don't ask me where the videos are from Antalya, staying at the Double Tree Hilton, uh, yeah, every time they would give me some of these, I would just stash them away and keep them for my travels because they're useful. So, give my hands a wee wipe and then get stuck into this. Okay. Let's try the pakora first, the pakoda, the vegetable pakoda. So what vegetables is it? It looks like onions and carrots. That's what it looks like. I'll try it first without the dip. Oh. Mm. Oh. Lots of masala in there as well. 
cake, so it looks like some green stuff, some onions and some carrots. I don't know what the green stuff is, but the batter is nice. It's all crispy on the outside and kind of soft and doughy a little bit underneath that layer. It's, uh, the texture is beautiful. Beautiful texture, beautiful taste. Like I said, a very strong masala, but not in a chilly way, just in a very flavorful way. Mm. I guess that there is if you want spice, if you want hotness. I think that's what that is. It looks, uh, it's reddish, so it's probably hot. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'll try it. I'll try the dip. Let's see what this dip is like. I'm thinking tomatoey and spicy. That's what I'm thinking it's going to be. Oh. Damn, that is, that is full on chilli spice. Oh, very spicy, very, very spicy. Oh. Yeah. If you like spicy, you would like that, but I'm going to eat it without the dip. I'm going to just eat it plain. It's nice enough. It's succulent without any sauce. Nice and fridge vegetables just being fried right there. It's not something that sits out. It's not something that's pre-prepared and just sits there all day. Pakora like this, it's uh, freshly made, freshly fried. Mm. Nice and succulent. I'm trying to see what the green stuff is. Oh, it looks like it's um, capsicum peppers. It looks like it's green capsicum peppers. Slices of that. Looks what that's what it is with onions and carrots. Mm. And the pakora that I had in the streets of Lahore, Pakistan, that was onions and spinach. So the thing that's in common is onions. I think that's always going to be an ingredient in a vegetable pakora, the onions. And then it could be anything else along with that. Mm. Mm. Magnifique. But I'm already half satisfied. I'm already half full from eating that. That was a, a fair old portion. And look at the size of this biryani. It's massive. So it's going to be a challenge to clear the plate with this one, I think. And let's check it out. This one with egg. It's a boiled egg that's been quartered and put on the top. A nice presentation. I think that's going to be raita or just some plain curd and then we've got a poppadom to give it some texture as well very nice okay right in with the hands then let's get a piece of this egg mm. tastes like egg but the biryani how does that taste i'm gonna get right in with the hands and go straight for a chunk of this chicken right here Mmm, 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 mmm. It's a very nice masala, just like the pakora. It's uh, flavorful, but not in a spicy way. I've been finding that with uh, all the food in the pal so far. You get a lot of flavor, a lot of spice, but not chili, not chili hot. Almost everything I've eaten has been like that. There with the pakora, it was only spicy if you add the sauce, so this is nice and eating with the hands again because it's on the bone so it's the best way to do it you grab the bone and then you rip off the meat with your teeth just like that see clean off the bone and this biryani with a lot of vegetables through it there's some tomato no in fact that's it looks like red capsicum pepper chopped through it there's some onions there uh, some other stuff, some kind of leaf has been mixed up, chopped up, and put in there. Uh, a lot of stuff. A very balanced meal with the egg, the meat, the rice, the vegetables. You've got a full balanced meal right there on one plate with your biryani. Mm. Oh, another big piece of chicken. Steaming hot. Look at the steam come off that. Oh. Mmm. Let's add a little bit of texture in there with 
that Papa done. So all this food is very typical Indian food. You'll find that in Nepal that most places you go, most of the menu, it'll be your typical Indian type of food. There's not a lot of food that they have that is unique to Nepal. Only really in Kathmandu, the Nawari people have their own kind of culture and cuisine and stuff. So there are some unique features, unique foods there uh, in Kathmandu. But uh, in Pokhara, not so much, not so much. Oh, and found a piece of cauliflower there, some gobi. Lots of vegetables in here. Lots of variety of vegetables mixed into this biryani that's now having a bit of crunchy texture from the poppadom. Mmm. Oh, there's loads. Loads of chunks of gobi in this. Let's try the writer. Mm. Yeah. Oh. It's actually a... It's actually quite a sweet yogurt. Not usually what I have with a biryani. Normally you get the, that kind of cucumber, plain curd yogurt. This is actually sweet. Doesn't really go. Doesn't really go with this rice savory type meal. To be honest, the sweet yogurt. But yeah, that's what they've given me. I'm not going to take any more of that. <coughs> Put that on the side. But um. <coughs> Oh, look at that. Look at that chunk on the bone. See, you wouldn't be able to eat that with knife and fork. you got to use the hands. you got to use the hands for this. Mm. Well, guys, I admit defeat. My appetite still isn't fully restored after suffering from food poisoning in Kathmandu for a week. Uh, I'm still not 100% the same hungry Dale that I used to be before that event took place. So... I've ate all the meat and everything, all the protein, the egg and stuff. I'm gonna get this rice to package to take away. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to admit defeat on this one. Unfortunately, as much as I would like to clear the plate. Hi, mm. uh, can I get this rice to take away? Yes. I don't want to waste. No. Thank you. I'm sorry, I made a lot of mess here. Okay. I'm I'm well known for my messy eating. Well, it's. Guys, it's all over the floor and everything. It's, I've made a heck of a mess right here, so I have. Oh, this my bill here. Ah. Oh, fantastic. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. The food was very nice. So total is 1,516. Okay. Can I give you a 20? Then it will be easier for change. If I give you... Just give me 15 rupees. 15, let's see if I have 15. 15 rupees, you know what? I was playing around with the money in my wallet, taking money out, and then there was a thousand lying there underneath my camera. So we don't know if that's mine or if that was lying there before. So they're gonna check this camera. But guys, you can check the camera, but if it's mine, you can keep. Okay, so no problem, okay? If it's yours, it's yours, and if it's mine, also it's yours. Okay. Wrong? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It's all good. Okay, thank you. Okay? Everything is good. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. The food was good as well. Thank you. Okay. Time to ruin someone else's photograph right here. Oh, that's a bad one to ruin, isn't it? Oh, what am I gonna do? Your man has to make his way back to oh over that mountain. How am I going to get back? Find a taxi driver, negotiate a price, and make my way back to my hotel to relax. And this is my last day in Pokhara, guys. So it's been fun, hasn't it? I'm going to Kathmandu tomorrow, so I might make some videos there. But until then, I will see you guys on the next adventure. <laughs>